Hey YouTube, I'm excited to show off my semi-auto Suomi build. This is from a Clearview Investments horizontally cut parts kit that I got a little while back. Receiver and trunnion area is all made from scratch on the lathe from Rostock. This is a striker fired with my own design it works really well. It's got a very nice trigger pull, seems pretty reliable. Put a couple hundred rounds here already, and I really, really like this build. I extended the barrel to 16 inches. It really doesn't look too bad. But here we'll take it apart, and I'll show you how it works. Uh, for more information and more detailed pictures, I have a thread on Weapons Guild that you can take a look at. That should give you a little more information on where to get parts and exactly how to build this. But Thank you. I can start with the receiver here. This was made from a piece of tubing with the correct inside diameter. Inside diameter is about 1.185 thou or so. It's a reduced diameter to prevent a full auto bolt from fitting. The front trunnion here was cut right around here. You can see where I rewelded it. I took a piece of solid stock uh, machined it to a similar internal diameter, welded it on, and then machined the ejection port and the magwell out to match. Uh, that front trunnion area was joined to the tube through these plug welds. And then the original bottom part here, I machined off the cut, the torch cut pieces, machined it pretty well flush, and then it's uh, welded back on. I machined a 316 slot here, drilled some holes to pin it, and that houses the new ejector which is made from a piece of heat treated 4140. Right there. A new recoil spring was needed. Uh, this is actually unmodified Sten spring. There's a spring retaining cup here that I made. It has a shoulder which sits on the inside of the end cap. This is an unmodified Sten spring, and then there's a new bolt tail here. The bolt, I machined away the sear catch surface. I also machined the slot down the center of it. I machined most of the end away to fit this new tail section for the Sten spring. The original firing pin was removed. Uh, the sear was drilled out and I made a bushing to work with a heavily modified AR-15 firing pin. You can see in there the firing pin and then there is a set screw that retains that firing pin. And I have it peened at the top here. It's drilled tapped and then there's a little divot there to hold it. This is the bolt striker mechanism. You can see uh, it's relieved here to clear the retaining set screw. That's the catch surface for the striker. This is an inertia based system. So even when you press the striker, there's a return spring, but when you press the striker all the way forward, the firing pin. The firing pin only stops flush. So this is nothing on it, and then that as far as it goes pushing the striker. It's the inertia of the firing pin from the hit that actually sets off the cartridge. This makes it very safe. Um, if the striker follows the bolt home, it will not fire. 
has to be hit pretty fast by the striker. The original trigger pack already has a semi-auto mode, so we blocked out the full auto position. There's a pin here, and then this was relieved to clear the original, um, or to clear the block in the receiver. Um, some of the geometry on this was modified quite a bit, like the nose here, and then it's also modified so the whole sear sits significantly higher then releases quite a bit higher. So a lot of modification to this area. I change the angle and change this. And then here I milled it down and then add a little area here. This uh, limits the travel, how far the sear sticks up. 